Okay guys, I actually have another video about doing multiple textures within the same program. This kind of threw me for a loop because the way you do it is for one texture, obviously you declare a uniform sampler 2D in your fragment shader. We've covered that, right? Well, in the tutorial, they didn't, I mean, they did mention this, but I didn't pay attention. <laughs> So what happens is your your uh, program automatically will choose your first sampler 2D and put the first texture that you're using right in it because the default texture number is zero. And then the same thing with the next one that you use. It just goes into the next 2D sampler that it finds. Okay. So bear that in mind. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, I used case zero. I used that in the fragment shader. And I use the R type variable. Um, I gave it an optional one or two. And then, depending upon which one, it, I chose to reference which sprite texture, which texture, right there. Okay. And then, what else did we do? I have to do in this one. Um, I don't think there was much else inside of init text. I did a little change actually because I, I loaded two textures. And I didn't want to have duplicate code, right? So I put it in a loop. Um, and instead of generating one texture, I generated two. So that's an array now. So I don't need the amp amperand sign because the uh, name of an array is actually the reference to the address. Anyways, so the file name, uh, the file names that I use are right here. Yes, there's a mug of beer, and then there's some 420 cannabis there. <laughs> So both of those files are actually loaded, and they're in the miscellaneous uh, directory. Let me show you. Oops, let me go back to my actual... Where is the miscellaneous directory? Right in here. So we're referencing this one and this little mug of beer. Okay. And we're going to put them in the code. So it loads the textures into the array. It, it loads the uh, file from the file names from the array. And then um, goes through here. Of course, this works because they're both alpha channel PNGs, whatever. I didn't change anything there. The only thing I had to change here was before, uh, and you'll see this in the points in it, I had to render them with separate VAOs <clears throat> because you want to apply one texture to one VAO and then another one to another one. So, um, And then uh, they're updated. The VBOs are updated add point is a little different here because here's the R type dot Y that we're throwing in and other than that they're just you know selected right there uh, so let me run it and then you can see still got the the logo beer and pot demo and WSAD and arrow keys move around and it goes out um, when I generate the images they're actually from negative 2 to 2 um, so there's actually four uh, full screens so I can go this way of screen, I can go this way of screen, go this way of screen, that way of screen. So then maybe there's like the equivalent of, um, uh, yeah, there's four, <laughs> negative two to two. And uh, this is going to be the beginning. Uh, the pot and the alcohol will, and the beer will be stuff that the character seeks to find in his quest for uh, things. He will find pot and and beer. <laughs> okay, well stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.